And then that little caddy. Why do you like that box so much? Little weirdo. Give me that damn box. <laughs> Look at this beautiful peach tree. Man, I'm probably gonna have to take a picture in front of this tree today. Might just have to. Look at that. Two things to keep in your car at all times, guys, because I always forget in the house. Number one, deodorant. I always forget this in the house. So I bought one and kept it in the car. And believe me, came in handy. Daily, I don't even use the one in the house anymore. I just use the one in my car. Cause I'll be at work in my parking lot and I'll be like, you know, I smell like shit. But it's all right, cause I got deodorant. And number two, it's cologne. I always keep a little cool water. Well, cool water is my choice of cologne. You know. And now I smell great. There we go. Oh, third, you know, optional gum. You know, you might have tuna or some fucking meal and your breath smells like fucking garlic or onions and shit. You could always get a gum. Or you have stu stuff stuck to your teeth. I'm pretty sure gum will get it out. So, three things to keep in your car at all times. And if you want to be snooty, <laughs> get a chapstick. Why not? It's Colorado. The weather here is crazy. Anyway, catch you guys next clip. So just came from Hobby Lobby, got a couple things. I got art bin for my paints when I go out on the road or hiking and I want to paint a certain scenery and such. This will hold a lot of my paints. It's pretty thick. I think it will get all those little ones that I have. Good shit. So you open it. Yeah. And... I got ten canvases for only ten bucks. That's pretty damn good, guys. I'm telling you, take advantage. Take advantage of these Hobby Lobby sales because one of these paintings I sell for ten bucks easily with with those cheap paints that I do the swirling method with. That I make those trippy paintings that look like you're on acid. Yeah, one painting's 10 bucks, and that's 10 bucks for all these, so take advantage. Give you guys some tips out there. For those of you who are creative and artsy fartsy. All right, anyway, gonna get some breakfast right now. I'm really hungry. And we'll see where we go from there. It's all coming together, guys. I'm almost there. I'm almost ready. I got my bin. Canvases, paints, everything good to go. My backpack, you know, I'm gonna fit it all in the backpack and then I'm good for the road. Go to Cali, New Orleans, wherever I wanna paint and such. It's gonna be great fun. I'm bringing you guys along with me. As you know, I'm loyal to you guys. Fresh new video every day on my second channel and I'm always pumping videos out on this channel. I'm with it, guys. Fucking subscribe to me. And. Yeah. So I got breakfast right there. I've been gaining some weight in my belly area, so today we'll just be smoothie for breakfast. Zoom you guys in. So have a pretty busy day today. Uh, just went to Hobby Lobby. I'm at Tropical Smoothie right now. I gotta go to Natural Grocers, get some frozen fruit for my smoothies. And then my girlfriend's gonna come over. 
And then I have to go to O'Tuli's. I gotta replant my green beans and my cilantro and sage. And then I have to go to Scales and Tails. Get Larry some worms to eat. And I gotta have a lamp thing. Because my lamp needs to be higher because I'm going to take out Alien's Cage and just have my plants right there. And the lamp will keep them warm. And I want the lamp pretty high so it could shine on the aloe and my green beans and such. And I think I'll call it a day after that. Damn. These smoothies are great, guys. Check them out. I used to work here. The food is eh. It's all right. I like their peanut butter and banana flatbread. But everything else is all right. It's kind of like gas station food, kind of. But the smoothies, these make Jamba Juice look like shit, honestly. So, yeah. Next, Natural Grocers. Catch you guys there. I'll give you guys the recipe for my smoothies that I make. I usually put tropical fruit in it, banana, strawberry, blueberries in it, and then I put beet powder. That shit's expensive. I think I paid about 20 bucks for the beet powder. I put like a good hefty scoop in there. Vitamins I put in there are calcium, zinc, B12, uh... This other vitamins for your eyes. It's a herb, special herb to help your eyes out, you know, your vision and you know, maintain a healthy eye health. EPA, DHA, and what else do I put? I put some pumpkin seeds in it. If I have goji berries, I'll sprinkle some goji berries in it. You know, I rarely have those because those are expensive, and. Soy milk and then some orange juice and rest ice with water. May sound like a lot, but it's not really, guys. You know, once you make it, it's, you feel optimal. You have energy all day long. I tried many strategies with smoothies and such, with mango juices to others. Beet powder. Beet powder works the best for me. It keeps me energized all day. It doesn't make me feel lightheaded or sleepy or feel like, why am I at work? You know, I just want to sleep all day. No, I feel pumped, I feel, uh, my thoughts are good. I mean, no matter what, you're gonna have bad days even if you drink a fucking great, healthy, organic smoothie. But, you just feel optimal. You don't feel too light too, you feel, you just feel good. Anyway, catch you guys next clip. Heading to Natural Grocers after I chug this down. What's up, man? Hell yeah! How you doing, bro? What's up, man? <laughs> Going good. I'm Kane. James. James? Kane. This is James, everyone. Hola! <laughs> Wanna play a tune? Yeah, I'm the starving artist. The starving artist. Starving oh, artist. Oh, man, you don't have to be starving. Here's a buck. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I'm one dollar closer to starvation, leaving starvation. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a John Prine song. Nice. Hit it. I ain't got nobody. Hang around my doorstep. I ain't got no loose change. Hang around my jeans. And if you see somebody, I'm about to send them my way. Cause I could use a little help here with a can of fucking beans. Yeah, I used to have a family, but they up and left me. Cool guy. With another foot and eight track. And a Hulk George Jones. They're just banging on my six string. A walking trash can, kicking, spinning bones. <laughs> and I can see you on the back porch if I close my eyes now. And I can hear the train tracks through, hungry on the line. And I'm thinking it's your business, so you ain't got to answer. That's why I'm knocking on your screen door in the summertime. Now everybody is climbing, last verse. Up in the trees now, swinging in the breeze now, and hanging on the vine. And I'm thinking I'm a sailboat, I don't need another fur coat. That's why I'm knocking on your screen door in the summertime. 
Nice. <laughs> but, uh, man. Well, I'm from Washington. Oh, nice. And I'm just traveling through, so I appreciate you stopping. Great. Yeah, man. Well, take it right easy. On. Good luck. So we're gonna go see the starving artist again. I got him some food. Got him a soda, McDonald's, double quarter pounder with fries. Hope that helps him. I gave him a buck too. Really cool, nice guy, you know. Um, so I'm right here on First and Sheridan, right by the Petco. You guys can see it over there. You'll find this guy named James. He's right there eating the McDonald's I got him with his guitar. You know, check him out, give him a buck or two. He's a nice guy, chit chat with him, you know, tell him a little story, maybe he'll tell you a little story. Um, maybe he'll make your day. No, no, so just he or <laughs> This guy wants that. Sure. Check out this big guy. Put your hand in there. <laughs> okay. This thing's as big as my hand. This one got a hairy butt. Marissa said it's Isaiah. <laughs> got some food for Larry. Little treat for him. And I also got a lamp over there. Focus. It's not for Larry at all, but it's for my plants. My aloe likes it. And you guys see my setup. I'm going to set it up right now. Hopefully. I'm in a jungle, guys. Look at all these beautiful plants. Let's just go. All right, guys, I got some organic potting mix. Red vase this time. It looks pink on camera. I promise you it's red and dark blue bottom. Now, this is for my green beans. So hopefully they go well and they're happy in it. So I'm going to see if my paintings are ready, guys. I keep them right here. I use a plastic bag to keep it insulated and so no moisture gets in so it'll be air bubbles in my paintings. So let's take that off. Got this box at Sprouts and I was working there. It's just a pineapple box. Alrighty. Oh, they still look glossy and wet. Yeah, they're not ready. Check them out. I give it about another three days for them to be complete. You could tell on the sides they're ready right here. But not in the center. See if you can see the reflection. See that shininess right there? Yeah, needs a couple more days. I really like this one a lot. Looks like there's some green in there, but it's just black, yellow, blue, and white. Alright guys, so so far this is how my setup is looking. I removed Alien's cage. I got my, hold on, let me turn my radio off. Hey, way down yonder in New Orleans. That's what the song's called. Way down yonder in New Orleans. Anyway, got green beans, put them in the red vase. Really pops, I'm really glad I chose that color. And it's not pink, I know it looks pink on camera. My little cilantros, some sage, they haven't grown yet, but there's a little baby one right there, if you can see it. More cilantro, a sage one right there. And I got just my little decor plants right here, this little friend. And yeah, my aloe. But yeah, once these start growing green beans, I'm gonna make some green bean soup a lot more. And yeah, hope great things to come. Maybe I'll put another right there. My cilantro on a bigger vase once they grow. And I got this at Scale and Tails. This metal thing. I just put some boxes right there to raise it. Yeah. Pretty sweet, huh?